Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Oh my goodness, it has been, <laughs> I feel like such a busy day. Um, so I'm here with another set of flip throughs. These are not new releases. I think, I think we've exhausted all the <laughs> new releases, but I still have three sets of books to flip through and another small set coming. So um, I don't know if we'll get all through all these in the next week because I have other videos planned, but at least over the next couple weeks, I should hopefully be able to get through these. When I was sick, I got on a bit of a buying spree. So um, my points for books has been suspended for the month. <laughs> that, yeah, I started out, I tried my best, and it just didn't end up happening. So, um, I have this set to share with you today. Um, a couple books I saw on some other channels. And then three color books. Um, so, Amazon right now, if you click on any of the links for this book, you'll see it. It's a save 10% on three items. I don't know if it's all of Color It's books. I think I even saw their gel pens in the sale. Um, I know 10% isn't a ton, but every little bit helps. And typically, Color It doesn't do sales very often. So that was one of the reasons I was tempted to get three of the books. Because it, you know, dropped the price of the books a little bit. So, alright, let's get started. We'll start with the two kind of odd, on their own kind of books. One-off books that I found. I can't remember who's whose um, channel I saw this on, but it was very cute. Um, I Y'all know how much I love foxes, um, and I love fairies, and so this looked like an awesome book. It's by Meredith Dillman. It's got like the matte type of cover to it, which is really, really nice. 25 pages. Color Fox Spirits, Fairies, Kimono, and Chinese Zodiac Designs. It is um, Amazon printed. And if you want to pause and read that, feel free. It is single-sided, which is really nice. This is an older book. It says copyright 2005 to 2016. I'm surprised I actually hadn't seen this one before. Yeah, we're pretty okay. It's not too blurry. I love him and his little kimono there, just enjoying his coffee or hot chocolate or whatever that is. The line art is a little thin um, in some places, so keep that in mind, particularly if you're using markers. They are um, titled pictures as well. I don't know, some of these, that first one's not too bad, but I'm almost half tempted to try to copy these onto a little bit better paper if I want to use marker and like pencils, just because the line art's a little thin in places. And these, I feel like, kind of scream out a little bit for a background too. Look at this with a little fan. I just... The fairies are cute, but like, I, I really like the foxes. <laughs> Gotta say, the foxes my, are definitely my favorite. Hopefully, we will be able to do Foxy February last year. I mean, next year, last year. We're gonna go back in time. Yeah, I think I missed it this year. I hate it too, but... It was just not a good month. I really hope next February is better. I hope next year is better. I think I've pretty much thrown in the towel on this year. Like, it's no good. Just throw it out in the dumpster. That is a really pretty picture, though. Yeah, so there's a little variety to the line art. Like, this isn't super thick line art either, but it's a little thicker in some areas. Which, again, is fine, but I think... If you're using just pencil on, these pa uh, on this paper, you should be fine, but like, if you want to use marker, you're either going to have to have a super light touch, or 
go to a paper that doesn't bleed as much. Love her little dragon there. Oh man, now I'm starting to get tired. Today's not the day. I've tried. The caffeine's just not caffeinating. It just reached a point. I love the ones with her and all the little foxes. It's very cute. That's some like Disney princess mess right there. I have I was sitting here and I was looking at some of these. I was like, man, these would be great for a hashtag. And then I realized I have like a week and a half left, and there's so many hashtags I want to participate in. And being sick really it derailed me in some ways and in some ways it allowed me to color a little more but I still didn't have enough time to color all the things I want to color so I was like am I really going to be able to get a page in here done heck I don't even know I've had trouble with the copy feature on my printer anyway so I don't even know if I can fully achieve that anyway this month Gonna have to pick and choose, I believe. Like today, I got done with my picture from Chubby Witches. Let me tell you what I've really enjoyed this month. I've really enjoyed coloring in the books that are new to me. Like, I actually colored in like two or three of the books I just bought last week. And I still plan to color in another one. And um, I'm really loving that. Um, want to try to keep that up. But there are also older books that are still new to me that I want to color in too. So I've really enjoyed that. I've also been really enjoying Alexander Franzis and Joshua Dunbar's books this month. Um, they've been a real comfort while I've been sick, particularly Mandala's. Um, the Color Cube color palettes I've really been using this month a lot and that's been nice because it's helped take a lot of guesswork out of the pages for me so that's been nice too. Fantasy Adventure Dragons, Dwarves, Elves, and Other Extraordinary Creatures. This is by Eric Messinger. Messinger. Um, I think there was another one of his books and this is probably from Poet Spice is my guess because she's like me she's big on fantasy. Um, and I think we saw it somewhere else too. This is not Amazon paper. This is printed differently. Anyway, I love fantasy. Love it. And so I saw this one and I saw one other she had that I might eventually, I, Poet Spice had that I think I might eventually get. But this was the one I was more keen on. This is kind of giving you a little bit of tips and tricks on coloring, which is very cool. The digital look of some of these images, like digital coloring, which looks looks super cool, but always, you know, keep in mind that, well, there are some people I think that using pencils can probably <laughs> come close to this, but obviously, these are made through a computer. They're going to look vastly different, but you can still achieve great results through pencils and watercolors and what have you. Um, these look like little bits and pieces about goblins and water dragons. So these are some of the images in the book, and these are like inspiration images, and this is all like shiny paper. I love the inspiration images. And I love that there's little blurbs on these people. That's the thing with fantasy is there's always a story, right? There's always a story with um, characters. And so I love that. I love that there's also a variety of characters in here too. It's, you know, male, female characters, animals, and so on. They are single-sided. 
There are quotes on the other side. The paper in here is interesting. You know what it feels like and it looks like to me? Kind of like the design original paper that I've seen in some of those books. Which is good paper. Um, the paper from the Herb Leonard books, it also looks, looks like that. It's a smoother paper. It's not very toothy at all. I will be curious to see what marker does on this. But I think this would also lend to watercolor. Now here are some cool um, suggested palettes and then like a little thumbnail. These probably come from the um, inspirational images. But I'm kind of digging these, honestly. You know, normally I'm all like, oh, I'm going to do my own palette. But I love these so much I might just go with the suggested palette. I think watercolors would be helpful in here. The the thing, oh, and this is perforated too, so that, like you can separate the palette out. Like if you just want to frame it or just, you know, don't want the actual palette on the page too. But like from the images, I'm getting this feel of some watercolor. So I'm really curious to see how watercolor does in these books. I love that little goblin dude living his best life. I do find it, well, not all of them do. Okay, so some of these are just full page images that don't have a palette. Of course, that is from the front cover. And that dude looks absolutely badass. Does he know the dragon is behind him? That's the real question there. Dude, you got something in your tooth there. It's another tooth. Love that picture. Was that a jackalope, I think? I always, uh, like, I love a variety of characters. Male and female fantasy characters. But I also love seeing, like, strong, tough female characters in these books. I feel like this one has just such a nice mix of both and then some just unique fantasy type creatures as well. There's there's some detail and some shading in some of these and then like not in certain other areas. So I think it'll be interesting to try both just, you know, to see. I actually really like when they add in shading because it makes things a whole lot easier for me trying to figure out what to shade and what not to because I'm just not still after five years. It's not that I can't. It's just that I'm lazy. I'll be honest with you. It's just that I'm lazy. And then there are some of the thumbnails. Very cool book. Like I said, um... Dominion of Giants is the other book that I'm considering. But right now, I really need to <laughs> cool it for a minute. Alright, Color It books. For those of you that are not familiar with Color It, kind of remi the Color Ya, the Color Ya, Color Ya, I don't know how you say it. Color YA books. I. I kind of wonder if it's the same company, right? Or, well, it came, you would think so if they made stuff available in both the UK and the US. But I think the Coloria, Coloria books um, are more available in the UK and can be harder to come by in the US. So maybe they're different companies. Maybe they're the same company. I don't know. They look, the books look very similar. So, um, I'm not saying it's the same company. I'm just saying the books look very similar. I don't own any of the other, the Color Ya books. Sounds like I'm just like lazily redneck Color Ya. 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 Yas. Color Yas. We need one of those. Um, but Color It Books 
have like premium smooth smooth paper um these are like this is what i would call really good like marker paper if you want to use marker on a page if you want to blend marker if um, for me the so the smoother the page the softer the pencil so like my softest pencils would do well on this um and it's just it's double-sided it double sided single-sided thick cardstock paper um it is ring bound at the top like this um i'm saying all this because i'm um not going to repeat it for all three of the books so i have a couple of the color it books i just like everything else i don't color enough in them um it does say these are made in the u.s so like i said color it may just be like i don't know i don't know i'm just we're just theorizing here theorizing so i consider these hardback books because it's like a heavy cardstock kind of feel to it you get a table of contents this is their goddesses book by the way like i said i do love me some strong female characters i think i actually got this as um on, off somebody's wish list and i saw it and i was like hey i kind of i kind of want that I'm going to have to buy some new, um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to buy some new, um, white things. They are being weird and flashing for no reason, even though they're turned off. Um, so invoke these fabled females for your art. This book wants to, and... Another thing, so these are priced a little higher than most books on Amazon. Like I said, the paper, it's, you know, honestly, I thought the paper used to feel thicker than this. It's still thick. I mean, it still feels like a cardstock, but it's just really smooth paper. I'm telling you because if you get it and you're like, you, you try to use it, like color on it like you would an Amazon book and you're like, why is this not working? It's because it's a whole different type of paper. So <laughs> just be prepared for that. Um, are these named in the table? Yeah, they're all named in the table of contents. Which goddesses these are. So if you need that for reference. Like me, I'm always about some girl power. Always about strong women characters and so i thought this book would be pretty cool it is very detailed which is not my usual thing however i feel like i could embrace gel pens on this really well with a lot of these little this line work but um the paper is a premium paper they do come ring bound which makes it a whole lot easier you don't get any your images are perforated so you don't get any of your images going into the binding i love this picture um and what was the other thing there are 50 images in here and typically you get more like 20 to 30. there are exceptions of course So yeah, these are a bit pricier. I think around US, they're typically run about $20 per book. So that's why I don't have all of them. Oh, I love this picture. But I have, I basically I carefully pick the ones I want. And I usually wait for flip throughs too. I just think this is such a fun book. And I normally don't color people that much. But like I said, I do love female characters. And with these being goddesses, I would like to think, you know, I can color. Normally, I get bored easily with standard skin tones. Like, I'll do, you know, regular skin tones every so often. But for the most part, I like using different color skin tones just to keep things interesting. And I feel like with some of these ladies, I could do that. Hopefully, 
hopefully if it's a thing <laughs> if they're if they're out there they wouldn't like smite me or poison my crops or do anything horrible I just can't muck up their picture like it's still got to look good gotta do them justice I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's you know religion or beliefs or anything like that by the way I just want to be real that is that is <laughs> you go queen you live your you live that life so please don't think I am meaning to poke fun that's not my intention I just tend to crack jokes about anything and everything nobody is safe from my jokes These are really beautiful pictures though. Boy look at her too with those hearts and all those snakes. Man. She ain't playing. Anytime I see like a flock of blackbirds or crows in my yard. I'm going to think like she's out there making that happen. You know when you see like 50 or 60 of them show up. Stop doing that. You're not even on. It's a disco in here. Jeez. Ugh. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. They just start flashing. I think mine was doing it the other day. I was doing the flip through the other one up here. I have two. And like I'm always charging one. And now all of a sudden even when they're off. They just start flashing like it's the freaking disco or something. And. There we go. We knew that one was coming. I need to speed this up a little bit. I'm sorry. Wow, she really... <laughs> it's more than a cat mask. Like, that's actual cat. And that's a little terrifying. Ooh, like that, though. I'm surprised you could get any cat, wild or domestic, be willing to do that. It does make it a little awkward to flip these because <laughs> they're vertical. These are beautiful pictures though. I have used marker in these books before and that went well. I have used the Arteza Real Brush Pens and those went well. So like watercolor markers. I don't think I've tried pencil and I don't think I've tried anything other than the watercolor markers so all right so there is goddesses then we have the dragon ones those were originally what caught my attention and <laughs> if Tammy doesn't already have these I know she's gonna be like darn you ah oh, because she loves dragons too I got Dragons Volume 1 and Volume 2. Now, the other one you could technically pull one of the pages in the front, but like this actually gives you a page that you can take out and use as a blotter page. Because these are a little taller, I think, than typical coloring books, sometimes you need a little longer piece of paper. So now we have Dragons. I really was like cruising for something to buy that day. Seriously. These were all, you know, these were on my list for a while. And <laughs> I saw Tipper set off and I was like, yep. I think that's actually in a landscape form. But I'm not going to. I'm lazy. I'm not going to flip it to the side today. So what do I have left after this? I have a couple of coloriage type books that are cat related from Lyrica. Oh, that's cute. Actually, I'm going to turn that this way. 
I have the Cats and Soup book. I have another Hot Guys Through the Ages or something like that. Um, I have the Villains U.S. Color by Number book that Thunder Bay Press put out. I have my Coloring Heaven 5 or more for half off issues. And I have my Jade Summer Mandalas. have the revised cute magical book from Alexander Francis, I think. And then I have three more books. <laughs> Wait, yeah, the Molly Harrison one's a new release. So actually, I get that one on Monday. I will probably move that one up in line. If any of you in the books that I just mentioned would have a specific book you would like me to flip through next in that list I just rattled off, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're just going to use my discretion and just pick them up. I did get Cozy Cats. Um, is it Cozy Cats? It was a book Tammy recently flipped through, but I don't think it's a new release. And then I got the actual paperback version of Country Summer from Jade Summer, but was actually done by Joshua Dunbar, have the digital version of the book. And of course, I was like, I want the paper copy of it because I just, I just do. It's been a bit of a chore to get the cardstock I want to get through my laser printer. Like, whenever this one dies, I'm definitely going to get a more robust one that handles thicker paper better. And so, it turns into this thing where I kind of have to jiggle the printer <laughs> to make the stupid paper go through. And so, like, it's almost to the point it just irritates me to print anything right now just because of that. But if I don't use it, then it'll take even longer for the thing to die. So I can get a new one. So it's kind of... I really need to start working on my digital books. In my digital books. But man, this month, I'm just now starting to really do some, like, coloring in my coloring books, too. So it's a process. I'm playing around with some additional tag ideas for the remainder of the year. So we have like Cattober, which I always like to do in October. So watercolor summer goes to the end of September. I thought about doing Marjorie Sarnet in set like Sarnet in September again. I've done that before. I just don't know if I'll have time. I gotta look through her books and see. Like, it's been forever and a day. I love this picture. It's been forever and a day since I have colored in one of her books. And I miss it. She was one of, she was one of the very first artists. Her books, her creative cats and creative kittens, were some of the very first books I bought five years ago. To this day, I still think they're some of my favorite, like, cat books. But, of course, she's put out so many good ones since then. And she's got that, like, fantasy one that I haven't even colored in yet that I really want to color in. So, I was supposed to do some Creative Haven stuff this month, too. I was supposed to do a lot of things. We might get to that Hannah Lynn picture next weekend with the graphite. And then... I'm hoping to do a water-based markers Teresa Goodridge image. I really want to do one of hers with watercolor pencils. I'm just not going to get to the Creative Haven this month like I was hoping. But hopefully it's going to be next month. I think I was telling somebody in the comments. They were like, because uh, I have a, a new series idea that is going to start Monday. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But, um... Somebody was like, you know, don't forget about Watercolor Summer. And I was like, oh, I'm not. I was like, I have plenty planned that. Um, and in fact, it will extend far beyond September because I just have too many ideas and I don't have enough time. So it won't be a tag per se, but like, don't fret. The watercolor stuff will not be going away 
once watercolor summer is over because I've just been having too much fun with it. So that was Dragons Volume 1. And then of course with Dragons Volume 1 I had to get Dragons Volume 2. It was for three books. So <laughs> I know. There's one book they just released that's not on Amazon yet and I can't think of the name of it and I feel like maybe it's a fantasy related book and I that's what I was originally looking for when I when we got off track here. I do like do they do this in all the books? So I one thing I really like about Color It that I believe they do is they it's published under the Color It name but they do always note the artists. And I I really appreciate that. Um, I've been, Jade Summer started doing that. Um, they started doing it with Alexander Franzese and Joshua Dunbar, actually, um, before the whole Amazon snafu happened. And I love that. I would love to see, like, Coloring Book Cafe and, um, like, Coco Wyo and stuff start doing that. I just, I just personally think that's a great nod to the actual artist. Um, so here is what you can use as a blotter page. Here's some different types of dragons. We have the oriental dragons, the fire drakes, and the fairy dragons. Anyway, I always think that's a nice touch. Whoa, buddy. This is some thin line art. Whoops. <laughs> that is, and it's the same artist as the first volume. Well, dang it. So, the one good thing, though, is because this isn't, like, Amazon paper, I don't have to worry about as much bleed when I'm using markers because it's that smooth marker paper. So, it's not as big a deal with this one. Hmm. And, I don't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's adorable. We'll be coloring that. Absolutely. That one too. Okay. <laughs> Those first few pages, I was kind of like, mm, you sure about this? But no. Now we're getting into it. I am. Look at him waiting underwater. That, that's got to be a little boat that a kid sailed, right? Like, because otherwise, I can't fathom the size difference there. Between him and that boat. I really love like the landscape scenes in these. I think those are some of the nicest ones. But I like these two. It's just wild that they're the same artist. But like the, the art is so drastically different. Not different. But like the line art is so different. Ooh, I like that one. Mm. That's cute. Just hanging out with the hummingbird. Looks like they're about to have a bad day. Oh. Sorry. Always. These, I feel like I have to do this. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to make sense out of the landscape ones. I like that one. I like the little fairy ones. I think those are my, probably my favorites. Bird to look very nervous at him. Like, what are you? What are you doing? I like that one.
generally in a book, like, and it probably should be a higher percentage for me, but I look at a book and I'm kind of like, would I color most of these images? Or is there, you know, just images I hate? And in this book, I think I will color at least half the images. I just am going to have to be a little careful with marker just with the lines is all. And I don't think I like this one as much as the volume one. But unlike the book I showed y'all the other day, I feel like I might keep, I will probably keep this one. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on it. A lot of times, too, it's like, you know, the price point, the quality of the book, like, this is, you know, still a fairly expensive book. So it's like, will I color enough in this book that I feel like, you know, it's worth it to me? Now, that is a very open-ended question that is a unique answer to everybody. So... Some people may look at this and be like, I only want to color five images in this book and I'm still going to keep it because I like it. And some people might say, I just want to collect these books because I like dragons and I may not color in this one at all. And there might be some people that are like, if I don't love every single image, I'm not going to keep the book. That answer is, that question is a unique question to everybody. I always say this is a judgment-free zone. So, you may have a different feeling. St oh, I thought the cat was rooting around in the closet. Um, you may have a different opinion. You may have a different feeling. But at the end of the day, it is your money. Your, <laughs> your coloring stash. Your coloring. Your ultimate decision. And... I, I embrace your decisions as much as I embrace my own, so. I might have to think on this one. I don't know. Like I said, I would say I would even color up to half these images, but, oh, but that's such a good image, though. I love that one. I, I'm going to have a week, um, I am, well, no, I take that back, um, I'm going to do something different with that Mythographic Illusion book, but essentially I'm going to de-stash it, and, um, I have somebody in mind that I want to send the book to as a gift, so, um, I have to go to the cardiologist next Friday, if I want to drop any books to return to Amazon back for UPS, it has, it'll probably have to be that day. So I might think on this one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to keep it. Uh, just more than likely. It's just too many cute images in that one. So yeah, we're just, we're just going to keep. I do seriously need to do a de-stash though, um, and I need to be really honest with myself um, on some of these books. It's probably going to even involve me getting rid of some cat books, and I know, I know, I wouldn't say, say that easily, but I don't know, maybe we're not quite there yet. <laughs> We're there, Michelle. You have, like, all another shelf worth of books. We are, we are at max. If I buy any more in the future, I'm going to have to, oh, sorry, that's my outdoor camera um, going off because my husband's running around doing uh, chores. But, um, basically, from this point on, I need to do a, like, book in, book out kind of mentality, so... Um, alright, so there is this one. I Like I said, I mentioned some of the other books I have to flip through. If there's one in particular 
that you're excited to see next, let me know. It will probably be posted either Tuesday or Wednesday because Monday I'm starting a new series. Um, if you missed it on my community page, I posted a poll. Um, I noticed a lot of colorists, well, first off, I've seen a lot of new colors on YouTube and I say hi because I always love seeing new people and I've subscribed to a lot of channels recently and love seeing uh, new colorists. But I've seen either new colorists or people who've been coloring with like pencils and stuff for a while, trying alcohol markers for the first time. And I, it's been, alcohol markers have been the very first thing I colored with that, I, at, well, not the very first thing, but I started with pencils, but I fell in love very quickly with markers, alcohol markers. And over five years, I've picked up a few tips and tricks. I w I'm not going to sit here and say I'm an expert. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm doing tutorials. I never do that. I always call them demos. Um, because I just don't like to think of, <laughs> I know I'm probably just down, you know, not giving myself enough credit, but I just don't feel comfortable being like, yeah, I'm an expert in this. Cause I know there's always people that are like way better at this stuff than I am. But anyway, I picked up some tips and tricks over the years and I thought it would be fun, not just on markers, but other things to do. It's not even a beginner series. I'm going to call it like coloring tips and tricks is what I'm going to call it. It's not even really like, it is sort of beginner because we're like talking about this stuff. Like you don't know anything about call markers kind of start with, but I mean, I, I don't know if I necessarily want to call it a beginner series because I think anybody could, you know, like the video. I don't know. Anyway, um, because it's watercolor summer, you typically think I would focus on watercolors first, but because there's been so much interest recently in alcohol markers, I thought let's do that one first. Um, and overwhelmingly, that's what you guys voted for in the poll. Like 90% of the votes went to do alcohol markers first. So I'm already building a plan, a script. I at one point was certified to become a teacher, so this is <laughs> I have to have a I have to have a plan for this. Um, I've already kind of written out what I'm going to do, um, at least in the first part, if not in the first and second, because I don't want to make these super long, you know, 20, 30 minutes tops, because I know everybody's time's limited. Um, and uh, y'all know how I like to talk. And the first one should go up Monday. Now, I might be able to run, turn right back around and do part two on Tuesday, but I'm not going to promise that right now. Um, if I don't post it Tuesday, I think these are going to be Monday videos. Like they're always going to be posted on Mondays. Um, and we'll do a couple for alcohol markers. And then in September, um, we'll focus on watercolors next, um, just to add to watercolor summer. Um, but I'm really excited. Like I haven't done a formal series in a very long time and I'm not very good <laughs> at staying, sticking with the series, but like hopefully I can here and one of the reasons I'm holding colored pencils like towards the end is because to be honest I'm not as good in colored pencils as I am other things so I have a few tips to share but like that is not going to be as thorough as probably some of the uh, others but anyway I'm really excited about that that will be up on Monday barring any major issues boy that camera is going nuts um and it's like my phone has this thing with notifications. Notifications and rings are tied together. If I put it on vibrate, then it won't ring because I'm putting on vibrate for the notifications, but I can't separate the two. So then I can't hear my phone ring. So I end up missing calls all the time because if I don't, it's like this all the time. And it's, it's a Google Pixel phone. I do not recommend those phones. Um, I miss my Samsung um, Galaxy one I had. Um, but I'm stuck. I'm going to be stuck with this for a while. Anyway, just odd little note. Anyway, I'm going to start recording probably for that today. Try to finish that up tomorrow. I won't, there'll be some marker demo work in that, but like, I'll probably save a lot of that for part two because, um, 
I have some markers coming in on Monday. So I'm going to show you guys like the different levels of markers. Um, I am going to have like budget friendly ones, my magic box markers, um, medium level. I'm going to have Ohuhu, Cali Art, Artix, and then I'm going to have some Copics um, also to share. And so some that I can kind of demo and talk about from all the different ranges. I needed some little middle grade markers anyway. Um, and actually, my magic box markers kind of prompted me into this too because I they have not worked out as well as I had hoped and I had been a bit frustrated with them. So hopefully this series will be super helpful for anybody that's use, starting out using alcohol markers. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions about alcohol markers... Feel free to leave them in the comments. I will also ask for questions during the videos so that maybe I can answer them in the part two. Um, and we'll see how this goes. And this is really kind of a test. Like if people just don't like this that much and I'll probably do the watercolors one and then maybe like a, you know, other various media mediums and like then just wrap it up or something. Like if people just don't seem that interested, but I, it sounds like there's some interest. So We'll see. It's always fun to get other people's opinions, right? Like, even though there are a lot of more talented colorists than I am out there, it's always fun to get tips and tricks from different people because everybody has different experiences, right? It's like when you're doing, looking at a particular product. I like looking at different people's product reviews. Like, there's never enough because... I like to get different people's perspectives. This one person's review of it may be completely different than somebody else. A lot of it depending on like what type of paper they're using and stuff. So um, I feel there's always room for that. But anyway, all right, I'm going to quit yapping, get this loaded. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, I also have, um, I'm almost done with a book. Um, the Halloween ceramic tiles. I will probably post that either tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. This next week's going to be chock full of videos, by the way, guys, because it's getting towards the end of the month. A lot of this stuff, these books and stuff have just been sitting here and I need to shuffle them off to the shelves. So like, yeah, tomorrow, Monday, possibly Tuesday. Wednesday will be my next flip through. Maybe another flip through Thursday and Friday, and then we got to do the book collection update, and then we're at the end of the month. So, like, yeah, y'all gonna get a bunch of videos this week, because these are all the videos I meant to do when I was sick. And so, we're just gonna try to squeeze them in for the end of the month. I'm feeling much better, and I want to take advantage of the time while I have it. So, thanks guys for watching, and bye for now.